Right, so um, I'm starting working on the battery pack for the Batmobile and I thought I'd put this in a separate little video because it might be interesting to people how I've done it because I've decided it's all going to be internal power and you get pull them wires out for now we don't need them in so the engine we get is this which slots into the Batmobile so it goes all the way back so basically everything from there is hidden so what I've done I've taken my razor saw and I've sawn through just where it sort of gets a, starts to get a bit thicker and this will hold and get it in straight and um, three of these batteries these batteries are LR44 batteries and they're 1.55 volts each so three of them will supply 4.65 volts and it comes just up to the top nicely. So what I'm going to do, there's going to be a little spring in the bottom connected to one the negative. I'm going to take this little piece bend it round, probably cut it down so that will connect just to the side for the positive this other little spring I've got this was from an old broken thing just took parts of the battery out so I'm going to stick this inside just sticking flush so when it's together it will hold the batteries in place and we're going to use um, some of these tiny batteries, tiny magnets on the sides, two on each side, to hold it together. So I'll get some of this wiring in place, and I think we'll have a look before I do the uh, magnet part, just to show what my theory is on how it'll work. Right. So I have. Let's try to get the light on this. That's better. So, as you can see, I've got the spring in the bottom. Got the metal plate on the side. Wires coming through. I've just took this up to an LED just to show it working. And um, I've packed this out with uh, just some um, polystyrene. And then I've solar resed the other spring into it, so it's slightly out. Um, so if I put a couple of batteries in, one, two, but normally, look at that. Oops, my hand's in the way, sorry. So that's all. The battery part of it is working nicely. I've only ended up with enough room for two, but just so the three volts should be enough. So I'm going to get some magnets in now. I don't care if they come out a little bit from the side. We'll be able to live with that and mask it into all the other stuff when we paint it properly so i think i'm off to use the two mil ones for a bit bit of extra strength so i'll get them them in and see if this all works as one thing right so apart from a lot of clean up on the outside and painting my battery compartment is now uh, finished i've changed the bottom from a spring just for a piece of metal 
because that means I can get all three batteries in. And I've really trimmed down this spring. But it's the right, right height to all the batteries all in place. Um, we've got magnets on. I've got at each side different polarity. So they'll only stick in the correct direction. And it'll now take the three batteries I originally wanted it to take. I mean, why does that not come on? Because I've disconnected a wire. <laughs> Let's twist these wires together. Obviously, this is only for test purposes. it now there we go so I've turned <laughs> the model kits uh, engine into the actual power supply for the Batmobile so I'm really pleased with how that's worked um, these are 2 mil by 1 mil uh, magnets by the way so that'll, as I say, it needs cleaning up, but it doesn't actually look too out of place. So I'm really pleased with that. So I just thought I'd put this out as a separate video. Obviously for how I've built the battery. And then with the next video, there'll obviously be links into this. So I hope anybody else, not just building a Batmobile, but looking at an internal uh, power supply can get a bit of inspiration from what I've done here. But thank you for watching this time. Uh, keep trekking and keep modelling. Thank you. Goodbye.